beach composition. Beaches consist of loose sediments of varying sizes. These can be formed by just one type of material, like sand, or by a mixture of materials such as sand, gravel, and boulders. Beach materials are classified according to size, as can be seen in the following table. Sand is one of the materials included in the table. It is important to know what sand is and the different materials that form it. What is sand? Sand is a mixture of loose sediments with diameters greater than 0.062 mm and less than 2.0 mm. It is primarily classified into three groups according to origin. The first group is formed by mineral sand. This type of sand is formed by mineral grains and or rock fragments. The most common components of mineral sand are quartz grains. These are one of the most common materials found in sand. Feldspar grains. They are pink and their colors vary from light brown to yellow. Magnetite grains. They are black and strongly magnetic. Hornblende grains. These are black or greenish color and are prism shaped. Silica. Its coloration varies from yellow to brown and it is usually derived from the erosion of inland rocks. The second group is formed by biogenic sand. It receives this name because it originates from materials that at some point were alive. They are composed by coral skeletons, red algae, crustaceans, the remains of conches, and shells. The most common components of biogenic sand are Coral fragments. They can be found at the beach as limestone rocks that present many rounded holes. Shell fragments. These can be found in a variety of colors and many come from bivalve mollusks such as clams, scallops and mussels. Sea urchin spines. Their appearance is similar to small tubes and vary in color. The third group is formed by mixtures of mineral and biogenic sands. The aforementioned components, be they mineral or biogenic, are the ones that determine the color of the sand. This color also depends on its origin. Sand may originate inland and can be transported to the beach through rivers and streams. It can also originate in neighboring cliffs and be swept up by coastal currents. In addition, it may originate in the coral reefs that surround the coast and in seagrass beds. For example, the white sand of many tropical beaches is derived from materials that originate from these ecosystems. You can become familiarized with the origins of the beach you chose. To discover it, complete the following activity. Activity. Measuring beach sand. Size, shape, and sorting. Participants will measure the size, shape, and composition of the sand samples that are collected. These characteristics vary from one place in the beach to another. The following materials are necessary to complete this activity. Plastic slider storage bags, such as Ziploc bags. A tray. A magnifying glass. A pencil. A ruler or tape measure. Notebook and clipboard. Laminated sediment analysis chart. Procedure. Number one. Once you reach the beach, get two to three plastic slider storage bags. Number two. Fill each bag halfway with sand. Number three. Record in your notebook the location where the sand was collected. For example, from a river mouth, an intertidal zone, dunes, or the back of the beach. Number four, observe, describe, and record the type of material in your beach. You can examine the color, size, and texture of the sample material and record your observations in your notebook. 
To identify the size, place the sample in a tray that allows you to disperse it. Using a ruler or a tape measure, measure the size of the grains. This will be useful for larger sizes. However, it will be difficult to complete with clay and mud. Number 5. When you get to the classroom, if the sand is still moist, place the sample on a flat surface for drying. Number 6. When the sample is dry, disperse sufficient grains of sand over the laminated sediment analysis chart. Number 7. If the sand is light colored, use the graph that is located in the upper left corner of the diagram. If the grains are dark colored, use the graph that is located in the upper right corner of the aforementioned diagram. Number 8. With the assistance of a magnifying glass, determine the size of the majority of the grains and record the results. Use as a guide the appropriate figure according to its color. Number 9. For the analysis of sediments, use the table located in the middle of the diagram to compare the grains of sand to the ones in the figure. Use the categories in the diagram that best describe the grain of sand and record the results. Number 10. With the use of a magnifying glass, try to observe the borders of the majority of the grains of sand. In the lower part of the laminated sediment analysis chart, you will see different classifications according to the borders of the grains. Select the one that is the closest match to the sample and record the result. The size of sand grains can be measured precisely with the help of sieves. These consist of trays with different sized meshes that are placed in a tower structure. The tray with the largest mesh size is placed at the top and the rest of the trays are placed below from largest mesh to smallest. This tower of sieves is shaken for 20 minutes with the help of a mechanical sieve shaker. If this equipment is not available, you can create your own sieves. The Sandwatch manual provides detailed instructions on how to construct sieves. After observing and studying the composition of your sand samples, you will be able to recognize the characteristics of your beach and also describe the type and origin of the sediments found in the coast.